Hey guys, welcome back to Nikkei. In today's video, we're talking gems. I'm going to go through all the ways in the game to get gems because there's a lot of niche ways that can also help you progress your count along the way whilst you're trying to get these gems. So I want to make a list. I like doing this in games, making a list of all the ways to do it. And then I check it every once in a while. I'm like, okay, I've, I've forgotten that because there is a lot of ways. I think there's over 10 ways uh, that I've got written down um, that are definitely worth, worth keeping an eye on. And like I said, you might be able to get some more now. If I do happen to miss out on any, let me know in the comments and I'll put it in the pinned comment so we can have a concise list but let's go through them so the first field we're going to be a bit basic uh, and then we'll get into the more like niche type ones that we have so the first one is obviously your missions your dailies your weeklies your main and your challenge all those will have it dailies at 100 um your weeklies is going to be at 100 as well and then these ones you will get more in in the main and challenge section uh the next thing is going to be events obviously as events come into the game keep an eye on the events you're often going to get some gems from those Moving on from that, we have codes. Now, codes are a great way to get it to actually redeem codes. You click this button uh, and we go to notices and then we scroll down here and we go CD key redemption and we click this and it's going to take us to the redeeming section where we can go and redeem codes. Now, I believe there's something going on at the moment. I've seen a lot of people talking about it in Discord where the codes are are all at the moment at the time of recording this all the active codes quote unquote active are saying that they've reached their limit of users uh so i don't i think that's a bug i feel like those codes were meant to last for a month for anyone that comes in uh they might have done some back-end stuff so we'll wait and see what happens with that but when codes are active definitely always check updated codes and i'll make sure to keep updated lists of the codes for you guys or when new ones come out uh moving on from that as we go into the arc uh we have the tribe tower now obviously every floor of this is going to give you extra gems really nice for the pools make sure you're pushing this fairly basic down here we will unlock faction tribe towers and i'm pretty sure they had it too as well uh in the betas but you know we never know because i can't see it right now because i'm not 713 i'm sure there's some whales out there that are dominating me and they are there but just keep an eye on your tower Moving on from the tower is the Lost Sector. Now, I couldn't remember if future ones had gems in them, but this is just a good reminder anyway to always do these as soon as you unlock them, um, if you're able to, because they do give great rewards. This one doesn't have any gems, but it does have summons and a bunch of other good stuff. So even if there aren't gems in there, definitely get there and get those done. Now, the next thing that I want to look at uh, is going to be a bit more of a niche one, which I always forget to come back to. And, I, and I've got to get better at it because this can snowball the way you can get more. So over here, we have these missions. Uh, let's go collect these. Cool beans. Uh, I don't think this one's going to give me another mission, but we'll just accept one and we'll jump in and we'll show you guys. So these missions, I always... I always suck at these like phone text things in games. I just, I never go into them. They're not my thing. But in this game, you really want to go into these, especially, um, and also do the ones with Nikkei's and stuff like that. You want to, you want to just basically keep this clear if you can. Like I said, I've gotten way behind on it. But the reason you want to do it is because these are going to give you missions. And as we go through these, it's going to give us a mission and it's going to be out in the campaign somewhere. So now I'm going to go out on this mission uh, and we're going to have to defeat a couple enemies. And then at the end of the mission, we're going to get an item that we can gift our Nikkei's to increase our affection, whatever they call it, with them, um, which will actually snowball into another way to get more gems. So give us a sec while these loads. Hopefully it doesn't freeze and uh, and we'll go through this one and we'll just quick show you quickly. I'm not going to actually go through a full run through, um, but there you go. It's going to spawn. We want to get to that chest. We've got two enemies. Now, sometimes with these things, uh, you can you can have three enemies, but you can like, like avoid one. So for instance, in this one, I could avoid one of those enemies if I wanted to. I could probably attack the top one and then get it from that. But you really want to do both of them because these enemies are going to drop you diamonds. So that's, that's a really handy thing. I believe sometimes if there's a stronger enemy, they may drop more diamonds, but these two are both going to give me 50. Sometimes you get three and you can get 150. So it's really nice when you do those, make sure you defeat both enemies. Now, the next one we're going to look at is these EX stages. Now, I personally, I've done two of these, I think. I'm I'm struggling with these because you get it gets fixed at level 80. Um, I find with these, I, I, I feel like I need a healer. I, I'm just struggling a little bit myself in these. But definitely, if you can do these, try these, see how you go. Because if you do clear these, you're going to get 300 gems, which is really nice rewards. Once again, that's a full summon. So stack those up and they'll go a long way. So those are the two things you want to do here. Now, the other thing I'm going to mention while we're out here in the campaign map, I've already completed this map, but you'll find those little lost relics everywhere. Um... 
the little shining white things, some of them are really hard to see. Uh, but those things, some of those will be like 50 or 100 gems. So make sure you're always clearing out them. You obviously want to get all of those on every map anyway, uh, because they are going to uh they are going to contribute towards command set and completion of the, the log of them, which will give us more gems, which we'll look at in a sec. But also you want to get all the building um, blueprints so that you can build all the buildings as well in the outpost. But that is that one. Uh, moving on from that, let's just jump back over here uh, and we'll go into the outpost and we'll take a look in the command center because there's a few ways over there as well. Okay, so here we are over at the, the command center in the outpost. Uh, now, like I said, you want to collect those lost relics because this one here, once you complete a set of them, uh, you will be able to get some uh, some gems um, like this one here, for instance. Oh, it doesn't show you, but you get gems for completing the sets of these lost relic things so you definitely want to collect all those because those are going to give you extra gems and it's just a great thing if you're looking for something do go to older chapters make sure you've cleared all those things now the next one is going to be the jukebox now this one's sometimes when i first played this one it was tricky to find them um, but you go around and you can see this one's got the red dot here you just click through them uh, and then you click there and that's going to have once again, this is all to do with finding those lost relics because that's where you find these things um, and that's where you're going to get it and then I think that's all I had and just to check you can just go back and it'll have a red dot there if you've got more gems that you can collect. I'm curious to see what they put in the toilet or the bathroom or the shower, whatever it is later on. I just feel like they're going to put something there. I don't know. That's just me. Anyway, getting a bit off track. Okay, now we want to go into the advisory section because the advising, obviously you want to advise three times every day because you get three of them um, and then also giving gifts and this is where that message doing those message quests because you get gifts um, that you can give to your Nikkeis and increase your relationship with them that is going to allow you access to view more episodes and in those episodes you're going to get more gems. So as you can see here, an episode which they're really quick and easy you can just skip them there's another episode we got there and as you can see i think do i have access to this one as well why is it loading i don't know why it's loading guys that's all right anyway <laughs> you get the gist what why did it send me back anyway I don't know what I clicked to accept there, but you get the gist. You want to do the advising. You want to be giving those gifts because you, one, you get more stats on your characters as it goes up, but two, you get more gems from the story. Uh, and then the final one that I wanted to mention, I'm not going to go back in there now. Um, the final one that I wanted to mention is the union. Now, at the time of recording this, we don't have all the union features unlocked. We only have the shooting range. Uh, but based on what I've seen in a lot of other games of similar styles uh, is normally you have like a union raid or a guild raid or a guild boss or something like that, which sometimes drops uh, gems. But you know, if, if it is, that is something you'd be doing daily anyway and you just get them as they come. But I'm not too sure that's just an if one that maybe they could happen. But anyway, guys, that is all the ways in the game that I could find to get gems. Let me know if I missed any. Uh, keep that list and just go through those things. I think I think the big ones are going to be, um, you know, going through getting all those lost relics uh, and also doing all those messages, quests, because you'll get a good chunk just from doing those. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.